Greetings and welcome to Factorio, I think. I'm Catherine of Sky and Die World got updated and uh, things broke. So we're gonna have to fix the factory today. Um, it's all good though, because this is what we like doing, I hope. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the mod is uh, continually being updated, so we need to fix things. So what we have is many things to fix. So first of all, I noticed that these guys are not producing enough because they're not getting enough of these uh, stone plates. So I think we can fix that and therefore avoid going into science as soon as possible by <laughs> just putting fast inserters there. All right. Um, this has no recipe on it. These guys... They need white fluid, basic science fluid. Um, I think this is, is it here? No, filtering pollution. Okay, can't mix fluids. Yep. Okay, basic science fluid and let's see, it needs to come out there. We need something blue and something red here. This is not either of those. This is carbon dioxide filtering. This is not what we need. We need this red stuff. We need that blue stuff. Hydrogen filtering and oxygen. So how do we... Okay, we need to just disconnect this completely. Looks like we also need filters. Uh, all right, so hydrogen filtering is this. We need a sand filter. And the other thing... We need a stone filter. Right. Okay, so we need two different filters for the different machines that go into this. Um, I'm thinking we can make them all over here because I'm sure that this one is also going to need all of the same things here. Uh, it looks like we don't need water anymore, so let's remove this pipe. That'll give us a little extra room here. I'll just take this off. Pipe, go away. Bye-bye, pipe. Shoo-shoo. Okay. I'm going to try to fix all this up and get things moving. So between the two areas with with um, the different things, we should be able to make filters around here as well. Okay, let's take this off. Take off all the water stuff as well. Let's take that off for now as well. Okay, so I guess we can have two of these thingies. Sure, why not? Okay, and then... We're going to need stuff. What is this? Item on ground. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff in my... Oh! Look at these new icons! Those are pretty! Hey! Hey, we got nice icons! That's pretty! Thank you! I like those. Okay. Oh boy. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'll put a dump chest somewhere. <laughs> somewhere! It'll be fine. Maybe here? Um... Actually, we can we can recycle some of our stuff here. Let's see if we can recycle anything. Here we can put in these old thingy majingies in here. Oh wait, no, those are not those. This is a stone. Oh, this is a stone assembling machine. Sure, and this is also a stone assembling machine. Why are they not in the same stack? That's weird. I don't know why that is. Uh, we also have stone electric mining drills. Let's go and recycle those as well. I really wish we had recycling at the moment, but we don't. Um, what else do we have that we can put away? Aw, stone underground-ies! Aw, thank you, Dysok. Look at that. <laughs> stone underground-ies and iron underground-ies! Yay! Aw, this is a mod that speaks my language. This is great. Woohoo! <laughs> That's so cute. That's adorable. Aw. Aw. I yeah, I'm blushing right now. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put some stuff in this chest. Aw. I like that. That's really adorable. Okay, I can put some of this glass in here as well. Uh shift click. Shift shift shift. All the things shift. Uh wow. Heated, long-handed, and long... Oh, let's put this in, in there as well. I want to free up as much inventory space as possible. Heat pipe heater. I think we can do stuff with this stuff. I think it should be fine. All right, now it's time that we start this process. Now, let's look. This thing needs 
a stone filter and it produces a something filter. Let's go and look at these filter thingy majingies. What are those? Filters, filters, filters. We have a coal filter. Okay, you have an empty filter item. Now that's what I was looking for. You need two iron plates to make that. You can have a sand filter and a stone filter uh, and a resin filter. Wow, well, that's kind of cool. I guess that's like real life, you know, where you have carbon filters and stuff, especially for like drinking water, like Brita. I used to have a Brita, Brita filter uh, thingy for my water faucet. But here I have pure water. It's really great. Okay, so we have empty filters. So I think what's going to happen here is what do they, they need the stone filter to work and they produce an empty filter. Oh, we get to have a reverse belt. Oh, I love reverse belts. Those are nice. All right, let's go ahead and make one of these uh, filter things and then we'll have a reverse belt to bring it back to, I guess we have to have a filter mall. In that case, where do we put this filter mall? Um, how about over here? That seems reasonable. Sure, why not? We can have a filter mall. Uh, this would be really easy with robots, but we don't have robots. <laughs> or I could put it over here. I kind of feel like this might be a good spot as well. Hmm. All right, let's go over there and make it because it's closer to the science and I'm... Uh, or, or we could have a very small area where we do the filters and then send out this stuff, like all the, uh, the gases and stuff. How much does this make? 25 seconds to make 50? That's not a lot. That is really not a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to think of a way that would make this easier. Maybe make a little thing up here to just do a whole bunch of gases and stuff and then just have them piped along here. Oh, by the way, I had a comment earlier about this fluid bus and this is not done. We need to have tanks to buffer this stuff. We need to have uh, priority using of, um, of the recycling process, uh, metals and stuff like that. So this is not done. Okay, I just wanted to say that explicitly, um, just so that you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, we're going to have tanks for all this stuff, especially like weird stuff like gold, which we don't, we're not actually using yet. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do with that. Anyway, uh, let's get back to our filtering needs. This could actually be a decent place to put this stuff. Uh, I'm thinking this could be great. We could have all of these raw resources come up here get all the filtered stuff and then pipe them down into like a central point. I think that would work actually really well. All right, so that's the new plan. Let's do that. Let's make filteries, filtering things today. Okay, let's get our oil processing two is done. Wow, there's more stuff here. Oh, ammo turrets, storage solutions, belt immunity and personal batteries. Sure, we can get that and belt immunity. I don't really care about belt immunity generally. Um, but sometimes it's useful. I mean, especially if you're making a corner, but with our reach, we don't even need that. It's fine. Now about speed. Sure. Um, Ooh, Hey, automation three, we can get better, better assembly machines. Hooray. Yeah. Let's just get all the things and all the stuffs. Defensive structures, fluid handling would be good. Yes. Uh, what is that? Oil processing two already. That's fancy. All right. Um, huh. Of course, we're not going to get any of the science. That, that was just a joke. Yeah, because we actually don't have anything going there. Do we have any more of those pipes? I think I set them up last time. I want to extend those pipes that we have so we know how much space we have for those gases that we're creating. So we were making some of these last time. We have only 68 of them. This is not ideal. This is definitely not ideal. But... I want to, let's extend the ones that we have. Maybe we should just count. We can just count. We have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Different one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there's one that's empty here for now. So we were going to have seven. 
excuse me, seven. Let's just take these up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I think uh, I will just make a copy of this thing. There we go. And that's our copy. These guys extend a little bit further. Not much further, though, I have to say. But we'll just take these on down to kind of where we need them. I'm going to go ahead and copy a bigger grouping of these to make it a little bit faster. Yay. And then we'll be able to just get them when they... when we can. Okay, so this is water coming in, but um, we're going to change this because we don't actually need this right now, do we? Not at all, uh, because it's not going anywhere. So this water can connect in here in a different way. Okay, so these are all... What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put belts here so that we know that's that. So then... This can be the water coming down. Do we have any more of these things? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, that's water. And then the rest of them can be above this, say. Let's see. That, that was a big sigh. Yes, it really was a big sigh. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that we can just copy like this entire thing here like this and just multi copy it we're gonna need two um two gases for now let's just do the whole length of this Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna grab this second. Oh, oops, actually, we can just paste this again, like these. Of course, this is gonna have to move, but that's all right. Why is there sulfur here? Oh dear. Oh dear, we seem to have uh, gotten some more interesting materials going on. Goodness me. Where, where is that coming from and how do I use it? No, we don't have sulfur yet. Stop it. Stop being mean, game. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so this is not just coal. It is coal sulfur. All right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. Um, I'm looking for... Okay, so this is it, pretty much. We're using... Oh, wait, we're using this for coal as well. Oh, I gotta go back over there quickly and stop it there. All right, for now, uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff into a box. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Hold on. Priority to the left. Filter sulfur. Right, okay, it'll be fine. Um, wondering if I should get that, uh, <laughs> those warehouses now. Because I, I was, I was uh, scoffing at them. Oh yes, I was. Uh, but we might actually need them right now. <laughs> so let's just put this here. Let's just put a few boxes there. And these can take in the sulfur. I don't think we need... Wait, those are heated, aren't they? I think they are. These are regular inserters. There we go. Okay, so that's going to catch the sulfur there. Let me go get some in the other area. That was a big surprise, wasn't it? I was like, hmm, yeah. Right. Oh boy, the surprises I'm sure will keep coming. I am sure there's more that we need to look at. All right, that's okay though. We're fine. It will be fine. 
That is our motto, and we're going to live by it and stick by it, and it'll be great. Oh, here's some. How nice. Okay. Um, gee. I think initially, let's just put it here, perhaps. Let's get output priority to the right with a filter of sulfur. Okay. And then we'll just pick that up and just take it along here. I think this is just going to be fine if we do this sort of thing. Put it in a few boxes. And all of a sudden we have buffers. Yay! <laughs> Jeez. Um, over here, this is a bit troublesome because at the moment, this is just getting... It's just getting taken up here. Um, what I can do is just change this one. Output priority to the left with sulfur. So it doesn't go into the other array over there. Um, and just do something like this. Get these inserters. There shouldn't be many or definitely not three chests worth. But just until we figure out what the heck to do with it. Um, right. You know what? I'm just going to let it run to the end of these lines and it'll get picked up and it'll be fine. Let's rotate this because this is obviously not a high high uh, throughput belt right there. We need to convert this actually to these kinds of uh, uh, molten metal things. A few people suggested that I not make gears here, but make them locally and feed them directly to machines. And I thought that was kind of an interesting idea. So we're going to see how that goes. But what I'm worried about is, do we have enough throughput on the pipes to go that far? Because as the distance increases uh, along the pipeline, the pressure drops. So uh, we may not get enough molten metal to make stuff really far out, whereas belts don't have that issue at all. Okay, so... Yes, how fast do these produce science fluid? Five seconds to make ten, to make a uh, hundred, I mean. These are 15 seconds and they need ten. Probably just need one. That's just a quick look at it calculation anyway uh we'll get that down there but first we need to actually make these fluids and also make the filters so what we can do is we can have the filter assembly even over here this might be okay to have filters now how do you make okay so empty filters go there we need to have Coal filters need empty filters and coal. Okay, so what we can have here is a... I guess like a filter buffer system of some kind, perhaps. Uh, where, we, where we put some into the system and then they come back to us. Alright, so that tells me we probably need to make those machines first, the air filter thingies. Uh, where are they? Let's see. What do they look like? Here we are. Air filter mark one. Do we have better ones of these? Let's look. Because if it, if it's faster, we might as well use the better ones. No, we, we don't have anything better than this. No. Did we miss it? Is it something? Is it a tech that we could look up? Is this one of those that I've ignored? Probably. Yeah, it's right there. No. But we have no science right now. So it cannot be completed. All right. Well, we can always we can always improve them later. It'll be fine. So let's go um, filter. Uh, I want to make more of these. We need copper plate for this. So let's go grab some of that. I do have some filters in my inventory when I deconstructed those other things. So we will start off the whole thing with that. Okay, let's make a few of these. Say, I don't know. Several? Yeah, that's good. Several is good. I like several. Now, you are going to make... 
We need hydrogen and we need oxygen. So let's start off with the hydrogen here. Let's delete these trees. Sorry, trees, it's your time. Yeah, I know you didn't think so, but yeah, we're fine. Fine with telling you, you gotta go. So these are going to be fed filters. Um, oh yeah, you just feed them filters. And then they come out with hydrogen. Okay. So let's get that moving along here. This will be the hydrogen. Good. And we'll do a couple of these, say four. No idea how much is enough. That seems okay for now. We will choose them later. Actually, how many do we need? That's a very good question. Is it control A that I said, maybe? How much do we need here? We need a rate of 120 per minute. Um, rate and selected units for each machine. Right. Hydrogen by one machine. 120. That's still... Somebody said it says to the right, and I don't see anywhere to the right where it says how many machines I need. Items per second. We need two per second. And how many is this? These are... Rate 24 per second, I guess. So this is more than enough. But I want to have it for quite some time. I want to have this to be useful to us. Alright, so let's take that off again. Uh, and let's look at this thing. So we're going to have an input and an output. Oh, we're collecting stuff. Good, good. Um, right, we're going to have these going in. Let's have, I guess it just has to be kind of a circular belt, right? I'm trying to think of like how to do this. How do we do this? Okay, we need to have an output belt. That's gonna be this. We're just gonna have the output belt going like this. Okay, empty filters coming out. And then coming in, we'll have the new filters. Okay, yes, let's try it this way first. And I think we just need regular inserters for this. Um, yep, there we go. Excellent. Good, good, good. Oopsies. No, no. Oh, up. Okay, so we have something happening now. These things need sand filters. Okay. What we can do is on the other side, we could have these guys over here doing something quite similar, but make these the red ones. The oxygen coming out. So again, we'll have this one coming in and then this one going out. Out, in. Okay, that's just fine. See, so I missed a power pole there. Excellent. And we'll take this one this way. Just use this one. Oopsies. No, no. Come on. Come on. Behave yourself. Oh, no. It doesn't fit. Yeah, these, these low-tech pipes are not great. Definitely not great. No! No, thing, stop. Okay, it's fine. We can do silly things like that. Uh, all right. All right, not the right way. That's better. And then this one can actually go all the way up there so we can save save on a couple of belts. Not really that necessary though. All right. So these are incoming. Probably we don't need this one to come in. This one is an out belt. All right. 
So we have two gases happening here. I'm going to put the filter makers on this side over here. Oh, or do we want to put it there? Um, this is all going to go away anyway. We could just put them right here. That would be fine, I think. So what we're going to do, I think, is have the filter makers. How fast do those filters get made? Let's find this out. So let's get our filters. Like, say, for example, the sand filter. Crafting it takes, I don't know, six seconds or something. That's not bad. That is not bad. And these use it at a rate of like 20, one per 25 seconds, I think. Yeah, 25 seconds. Oh, this is crafting speed three, though. Oh, well. This one is crafting speed slow. Really slow. 0.76. So we may need one per each, I guess. Um, that's not an exact number. Don't quote me on that. It's fine. I think what we're going to do here is something like this. I really want to make a bigger array. I'm, I'm just not sure how this is going to work exactly. But uh, we're going to try to do our best to split it evenly. That's the most important part, I think. So we'll go ahead and do something like this. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and you're going to make filters. Ooh, which kind? Um, let's see. These are those filters. So these ones are the sand ones, and these are stone. Okay, sand and stone. Okay, so these are going to be the sand ones. Sand... All right, so they need a filter and sand to function and they are gonna take five seconds again. So what I'm gonna do is have this central line. Well, what we need here is we need the central line to be the filters coming up and this line is going to be the material. So material coming, oh, whoops. Okay, that's not ideal. I do love that instant deconstruct though. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, we're going to leave that there. And these are the incoming lines. I hope I can fit it around all this coal because this is, um, I've cut it a bit close, haven't I? Anyway, um, yeah, so this should work. So the output line here for now is going to go like this. And later on, it's going to be split or maybe I should split it already. That, that actually may be a good thing to do. I think we should split it to begin with. And what we'll do here is something a little bit different, a little different. I think Put the sand and stone be there. And then this is going to go here. And do this and then we're going to have a splitter here to output priority to the left for sand filters okay there we go okay this is going to be great this is going to be really great okay there we go and this is going to be our stone filters now if all of this hopefully this is going to work and all we need to do is build upward and it'll be it will be expandable that direction. Okay, stone filter. There we go. Copy paste. All right. So we need and um, we're going to split this evenly. There we go. That's not what I wanted this way. Go. Lag spike imminent. Loot deconstruct happening. Huh? What does that mean? You can turn this off in mod options. Loot deconstruct. I have no idea what that means. 
That sounded a bit scary, though. Anyway, we're going to ignore it for now. <laughs> uh, all right, so we want our output priority to the right to have these stone filters here made. Okay. All right, so this is good. This is really good. Yes, I like this. So now we're going to split this evenly between the two uh, thingies. And that's the wrong way, of course. I'm going to do this instead. Got to remember which way the splitters go. So this splits it exactly in half. So half goes here and half goes there. This is, this is splitting off the plain filters. Okay, so let's grab these. Um, input, input, and then output, output. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oopsies. No, out, out. Yes. Output as well. All right. Looking pretty decent. Let me get some... Actually, these power poles are not going to help us very much. Even if they're fancy. Okay. Okay, we have stuff now. All right, let us go ahead and connect these to um, materials, to real materials here. And notice I'm not putting this here because that's not going to work very well. Okay. So we're going to have stone on the inner belt. Let's just go a little bit further out here. Then sand on the right-hand side belt. This is interesting because we don't actually have any sand. We have no sand whatsoever. Uh, not on the bus anyway. Okay, so... Stone is the inner belt, right? Yeah, so we can get that one started at least. Let's get that going. Aha! We have stone right here. Excellent. That's not right. So we're going to take it from the bottom one. So that's how we usually roll with this kind of stuff. Now then, we need to figure out where we want sand coming in on this line here. This seems empty. Uh, this was going to be that, but I don't think it's probably going to be that anymore. Maybe... It doesn't look like we're using that third line for anything. I'm thinking two lines of copper and then that third line could be something else. I don't even know if we need two lines of copper. But I'm thinking that third line might want to be sand. I think that'll work pretty well for us. Let's do that third line to be sand. And uh, we'll have to route that right now. It'll be fine though. This is exciting though. We're, we're excited about this. This is happy times. Happy times. Yes. Even if we just have to tell ourselves it's happy times. <laughs> okay, I want to take this belt along this way. And this is going to be the sand. I'm going to just deconstruct some of this. Because at some point this is going to go. At some point very soon, I should say, this is going to go. So take this off. Do this sort of thing. Go like this. Sure. All right, and connect that back up. All right, so we have some stuff going on here. Well, I just connected all those power poles. No. All right, it's fine now. And I'll let this guy let this guy live out his days and be useful. Inserters love to be useful. Uh, all right. This is so convoluted. The spaghetti here is very real. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's okay. It, it's up to us later to detangle all of this fun stuff. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So sand is useful other than for making glass. This is good to know. Uh, where do we have our sand filtering? It is over here. Yes, that's where it is. Good, good. And that's just fine. Let's see. Wow. All of it. All of it is actually gone to making glass. 
Look at that. Wow. We're seriously actually making glass from this still. Oh, it's because the stack sizes are very high on this. All right. Well, now we're going to have to split it between two things. I guess we can take it upward that way as well. That would be just fine. Um, okay, so the thing is... Uh, we want to split it. Let's do this thing here. Copy paste. Okay. And then what we want to do is something like this. Okay. And what we're going to do is just split it off here. So this is going to be split evenly between glass. And uh, if glass is full, it's going to back up into this storage. Um, do I want to do that, though? I'm like thinking, do I actually want to do this? I'm thinking probably I don't want to do that. Let's take off the... Actually, it's okay if it backs up into storage. We can always re reroute this another time. <sighs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, hmm, maybe what I should do is do a split between storage and this and then route to the belt. Uh, and it can just back up in storage. Yeah, let's, let's do that that way instead. Yeah, I think that's probably better. All right, let's take this off. We're going to do a regular split here with no priority. And then this stuff is going to... Let's take off this. Say priority to the right. This is the belt. And the rest can go into gloss again. Okay, I think that's probably the better way to do this. I'm hoping... There we go. There we are. Okay, I feel like we're making progress. This is good. Progress is excellent. Feels good. All right, let's walk along these fast, nice belts here. Is that how we're going this way? Yes, perfect. See, we don't even need belt immunity at this point because we're so fast. All right, so this is our new sand belt. All right, just make sure it's connected the entire way along here. Man, there are all kinds of new things going on. I I'm curious what else we'll find next. Like, what else is going to be broken here? Okay, at least our uh, stone should have filled up. Okay, so we got to remember this is the third belt, like the... One, two above the copper. All right. And that one is going to come off right here. Okay, perfect. So two from the copper. I think it is like this. Yeah, there we are. <gasps> no! Oh no. Too many items. All right. Too many items is a pain in the socks. Okay, random chest. Gotta put it down. Oh, always all kinds of stuff here. I'm not gonna dump the sand though, because I need that sand. I'm gonna put it in the machines. Um, gosh, what else? No, we'll put those belts in there as well. We could return them to sender soon. No, return them to be uh, recycled. Okay, get these off the line there. Okay. Oh, 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 we picked up a chip. There we go. Take it off. Good, good. Okay, here we are. We have it. Hooray! Now then, what I need to do is figure out some way of buffering the filters. Buffering the filters indeed. Yes. 
We could put them in a chest or something. That could be a thing. All right, let's see. Sand. Yeah, I want to give you guys some sand. Where's the sand? Do, 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 do. Yes, right here. Okay, lots of sand. Yay. And we have those filters. I could have sworn we took some out of the thing. Do let's look F I L T E R. All right, empty filters. Oh, I don't see any. I don't know where I saw them. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, all this sulfur here. I'm going to put the in one of these chests. There we go. Not that that helps much, like three pieces of sulfur. It's like, yeah, uh-huh. Um, I think what I'm going to do is this. We'll have a, a, a maker here somehow. And these are not going to use up the filters very fast. So I think what we'll do is have a thing like this. Let's see, we want to do a this into a box and then one out of the box as well. Like that. Alrighty. Um, I think it can be on one side. It doesn't matter. So what we'll have here is we're going to have a belt for a thing making filters. And this thing is going to be controlled by power. So if there's enough filters, we just turn it off. Do I have something like a power switch? Please say I have a power switch. Yes. Ha ha. Excellent. Good, good, good. Where did it go? There it is. Nice. So we'll put this power switch here and this thing can be here. We can either turn off the inserters or turn off the entire building. So we're going to have filters. Whoopsies. That was not right. Forgot to click in the right place, I think. Okay. Empty filters. Yes. Which we make out of iron plates. How long do they take to make? Two seconds. That's good. So let's get our copper cable if I have any. I have one piece of copper cable. How funny. All right. This thing is not going to connect to here. This thing is going to connect to the power switch. And then I need one more. Well, and it gives me two, of course, of course. And then you go there. So we need to have a combinator or... Actually, we can connect it with a red wire, I think, directly. Uh, there it is, red wire. So here. So we're going to say if the filters, empty filter. I should I should do this later while, uh, while we do get some iron on here. So this is actually working. Here, here have some iron. Have, have that iron. If uh, this thing has, I don't know, if it's greater... Or it's, if it's less than, say, 200. Is that enough? I think 200 should be enough. I don't know. Um, we're, we we want to plan decently big so that we can do all of the gases in this area. That's my plan anyway. And we can just make another one of these as well. Here, you have some iron as well. This is probably going to be enough iron, but I will connect it to the uh, the main thing. Yeah, but if there's less than 200 in that chest, I want it to make more. Okay. Um, probably put this belt going this way. Oopsies. Like this. And go get the iron. Okay, here it is. Actually, this one probably could do that. Yeah. Since everything is being pushed to the 
lowermost um, belt. It, I always like to take from the lowermost belt and then always just keep pushing it down. All right, and we have this, which I did not notice before. Nanobots, thank you. Let's take this up. All right. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got filters. Hooray. Oh, we have stuffs and things and more stuff and more things. Look at this. We have progress. We have things happening. Oh, we've got hydrogen and, and redogen. Oxygen. <laughs> oh, yes. We needed to take this uh, elsewhere. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's hook it up. Let's hook it up. And we can get science back again. Hooray. Oh, man. Okay, I want to see. Uh, I'm going to turn off nanobots for a minute. And see if we have any more of those pipes made. Because I'd really like to not have 10 billion pipes. Wow, 206. That's looking good. That is looking real good. Now then. Um... What I want to do is I think I want to turn this like that. We're going to move this one there, I think. Does this still need wood? Yeah, it does. All right. Um, take this one this way. Let's move that one there. And just turn that there. Okay, so these guys are connected here. We want to make sure that we can connect them or bring them down on this side here. So let's take this thing and get the blue one coming down this way. Um, actually, scratch that. Make it a little bit earlier, like right there. And then the red one here. I think that would work a lot better. Okay, this is what we want. Yay. Okay, that one can go there. Alrighty. Oh, this is so exciting. We actually have progress. Hooray. Okay, keep going, keep going. Alright, so red. Red goes this way which is entirely inconvenient but it's okay it's just fine we will make it convenient there we go actually these ones can be regular we don't really need that much throughput uh, and it's uh, it saves us on those very very expensive undergroundies or underflowies what are they called underground pipes right okay good good now then here here i think what we can do here is just use this one connecting there and yeah the regular underground pipe here like that okay oh this is exciting we're gonna have science again science is good we love science so this is fabulous Boom. Oh, we have the science fluid again. Yes. Yes. We have succeeded. This is fabulous. Why is this not working? Hello? Oh, it's just overloaded. Ah, uh, why are these things? Why is this one not functioning? Huh? Oh, <gasps> no. Regular belts need motors now? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this episode has gone on for a very, very long time. And now we know we're still, still struggling. But anyway, we will struggle onward in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.